Hello, I'm John Leach, and I'm going to give you a demo of Brightbox Cloud SQL, our new database as a service. I'll go through building a Cloud SQL instance for a blog, and I'll use a snapshot to handle a tricky migration. So uh, first we'll head over to the Cloud SQL tab. We want to build a new Cloud instance, and we'll give it a name, My First MySQL Instance. Uh, we'll choose a size for it, I'll go for a medium. We currently support MySQL as an engine and version 5.5. We'll be adding newer versions and other engines such as Postgre in future. We can choose which zone we want to put it in, put it in zone A in particular. Um, and I'm going to build that now. Now this admin password is created once on instance creation and not stored, so you need to take a copy of that yourself. I'm going to copy it to my clipboard. Now while that's building, we'll go create a cloud IP for it. New cloud IP, and we'll head back over and map it to the cloud SQL instance once it finishes building. And now I can map the cloud IP that I just created onto this SQL instance. Now this SQL instance has a public IP address, but before I can connect to it, I need to grant my IP address access to it. So we'll edit it, go on access control, and stick my office IP address in here. And now we can connect to it using the normal MySQL command line tool, so we just need the IP address from the cloud IP. And we can head over to a terminal and access it using the standard MySQL command line utilities, using the username and password we were given when we created the instance. Paste that in there, and we're connected. This admin account has too many privileges for a blog, so the first thing I want to do now is create a new user that my, my blog software is going to use to authenticate with a MySQL instance. So we'll create the user with a new password, grant it all the privileges it'll need on a database called blog, and now we can reconnect using that account. And create the blog database. And I'm going to load it here with an existing database dump I have of my blog. So now the data's ready, all there's left to do is to grant access to our web servers. So we've got two web servers already built, one in each zone. Um, I'm going to put them in a group called web servers. And I'll add both the web servers to it. And then I'll add that new group to the access control list in the SQL instance. So now those two web servers have access to my new cloud instance and my block can go live. And whenever I build in a new web servers and can put them in that group, they're automatically granted access to that SQL instance. So now to demonstrate the SQL instance snapshots, um, let's say we're gonna launch um, a new version of the blog and it's gonna do some database migrations and things. And we, we wanna take a snapshot of the SQL instance before we, uh, before we do that. It's as simple as clicking snapshot on that instance and we'll see that it'll be listed over in the Cloud SQL Snapshots page. It's a small database, so it should take about 30 seconds to complete. And now that's available, we can create a new SQL instance from the snapshot. Keep it the same size as before. We'll put this one in zone B. So this new instance will be built with a copy of the data from the previous instance. And because of that, it inherits the admin password from the other instance. Uh, if we don't know what that is or we've forgotten it, you can change it using the reset admin password action. But we already know it here, so we don't need to do that. We'll just give that a minute to build. So now we have a second running instance with a copy of the database from the first instance. So now let's say we test our blog upgrade and the migration goes wrong and the database gets destroyed. Let's simulate that by dropping the database. We can quickly fail over to the snapshot by moving the cloud IP. So unmap the cloud IP from the first instance and map it onto the snapshot. And if we go back over to a terminal, we can see that we'll be disconnected from the old instance and it will reconnect to the new instance where the database is still intact. So that gives you a quick overview of the new Brightbox Cloud SQL system. 
It's available now. You can sign up in two minutes at brightbox.com and give it a go.